Welcome back to season three of To the Prem with Great Yarmouth. So we have now skipped along and we now have 57 messages to look at. We have a wage budget of 1,500. So let's see what's happened. So there was some scouting done. Board set the initial budgets. We re-signed Abbott. We re-signed French. Turley, the director of football, signed a new contract thanks to the chairman. That's good. Um, they've asked me to speak to them and I declined to change, but I agreed to hold renewal talks. That's good. And I've been offered a £40 a week deal, which is great. And O'Hara's happy that I stay. Spratt has stayed on as head of youth development. Lowering accepts the offer. Scout and the assistant manager. So it looks like I left those powers to him. Oh well. So these are the players that have not yet been offered a new contract. King, O'Hara, Lukandu, Reese, and Coleman. So there's been some youth players released. They're happy with Jordan Bynes. And again, we've made an, a loss of things. So Adrian Upson turned professional. <coughs> and we signed him on a £20 per week deal. Which is good. So Turley made an offer for Zand and Zand accepted so we signed Zand although my assistant manager said it wasn't worth <coughs> making an offer but however my director of football has said it was a good one and has signed him. Again we did need another goalkeeper so that's probably why. So youth, uh, so other players. So they, these, this is the. These are the players that are not yet to sign. So we've updated the social feed. And informed me, so they give me a budget of two point five. All these players have risen by five percent, except OQ's had fifteen. Higgins has signed. Players have been removed, so that's where we're at at the moment. So, let's carry on. Obviously, we've got to save this, so this will stop. So, we're now uh, saved the game, and we're ready to move on. As you can see, pre-season begins in two days' time. Now, the reason I started on the 30th is because quite a lot of the contracts run out 30th the 1st of Jan of uh, the 1st of July. So, I want to be there, and if we haven't. We'll release the contracts that haven't been signed by the. Um, director of football and we'll see what we need to do for next season so let's have a look and see what we've got here so 13 it's so a great Yarmouth release 13 players and staff so we've released quite a few people um we need to have a look at the staff that we've done uh see what staff we've still got okay so that is what we've got um let's see who's still about so Tactic wise, everyone's still around. What I can do is I can pop him back down to the under 18s. Remove him from his position, put Zand there. So it looks like we've kept our full squad pretty much. In fact, let me just clear the whole squad and see what, who we've got, what we've got. So we've still got a start, we've still got these two. We've got Jackson, and so we need a new defender. I know we've got Elliot French there, but we do need a new defender. Um, we haven't got a left back. So we've still got Brad Bull. That's good. And Mark Abbott. Wingers, we've still got Tay Ford. And we haven't got a left winger. 
up front we've got Jordan Barnes and Sabi. So there we go, we've got those two. So that's good. Jordan Barnes, when does his contract? So he signed another couple of years, so that's fine. So that's uh, so really we are missing I'm just looking at the players that we've got signed. So Upson signed a contract, isn't he? He's a professional now. Yeah. So theoretically we could have Upson there. I know he's only a, a, a half a star, however, that's fine. Um Baker is still on a youth contract, so we'll put uh, sorry, Barker's still on a youth contract, so we'll put Barker down to the under eighteens. MK, he's also a full-time player, so we'll put him there. McGeever is still a youth player, so we'll put him back down. Finday is still a youth player. However, he's uh, quite highly rated, but we'll put Finn back down to the youth. Owen, I believe, has signed a full contract, so he will be up there. And Stuart is also still a youth player, so we'll put Stuart back down. So, all in all, no one in the under-23s, no one in the under-18s. Let's have a look at our staff. So we've still got our full staff here. We've got director of football, chief scout, and a scout, so we do need another scout, and we've only got one physio. So what we'll do, we'll place an advert for a physio, Yeah, and we'll place an advert for another scout. So that's done. <clears throat> Just look at the under-23 management. We've still got... We've only got a head of youth development, so we definitely need an under-23 manager. And an under-18s manager, I don't think we've got one either. Let me have a quick look. Staff. No, we do. That's good. So we have an under-20. Yep, yeah, it's fine. So, all in all, we've got the starts on its way. Looking at scouts, let's have a look at assignments. So we've got 262 scouted for the first team. Gone by recommendation, that's fine. We've still got a few there. Let's have a look if Jamie Stevens is still at Mac Mattock. He is, and he's there for another year, so not likely going to get him. We can have a look to see if Jamie Taylor is on a free. He's quite old, but again, he can do the business. Jamie Taylor, he is at Dunstable now until 2019, so it looks like he'll be retiring soon. So, what we need to do, because we haven't got any friendlies or anything in, let's arrange some friendlies. So, Saturday the 30th, let's have a large reputation. Let's play Bolton Wanderers. Of course, we need to get onto winning ways, so let's choose some less. So, let's choose some nearby teams. So, we'll go Aki United. Another friendly there will be St Andrews. Go there again. Metashaw. Just choosing some plate teams just to have friendlies with. Twenty first of July. Well, let's do a larger reputation. Let's go oh let's go. Let's go Reading, like a bit of, like the Royals down at our end, <coughs> just to get a bit more fundage in. 25th, we'll do another big friendly as well, and we'll do Huddersfield, how about that, we'll do Huddersfield. So there we go, so that's some decent opponents, and we'll get one, we'll get two more in, and there'll be nearby teams just to <coughs> fill the... Even the because as you can see that's when we got that. So the week before, we'll end on another high hopefully. And we'll go. No, we don't want Ackley. We've already played them. Let's go for London. There we go. So that's going to be our friendlies. So everyone's accepted the friendly invites. That's good. 
So there we go. So at least we've got some good friendlies there. We've got a couple of reputations as well. A couple of three-star reputations as well coming to see us. That's good. And uh, hopefully we can get pre-season well underway. So again, we'll skip through pre-season. What I may do is just show you the... Now, we'll go through normal. So this is our final season with um, Great Yarmouth if they do not get promoted. If they don't get promoted... That is the end of the save and we've finished. If they do get promoted, we carry on to the Prem. But obviously, it'll hopefully, it'll hopefully get better from the next league on. But, yeah, like I say, we need to, um, we need to buckle up a bit and definitely need to, to kind of get there. So, if we don't get there by the end of this season, there's no point in carrying on because we're three seasons in. Going to be way behind trying to develop the club and get them anywhere near. We'll be here for we'll be here for years. You know, I was expecting probably ten years to get towards the Premier League or, you know, to get into the football league, but we're going to be well behind that by now. So they they don't they don't like the the idea that we signed Jordan Barnes, although he was voted our best player of the year. Hmm, very strange. So we made a 6,000 loss. And the beginning of pre-season started. So I'm going to see how everyone is at the moment. Yeah, we're getting on well. Hold a team meeting. Again, I don't want to, you know, hype too much. I'd rather we did something. So... Don't want to say let's go for the league and then not bring it because that'll put morale down. If we say we're aiming for the top again, we should be about right. So we're definitely into pre-season by now. And I need to have a look and see if we can get hold of any players. So I think if I um, put some targets in, my... my director of football will bid for them so definitely want to get a uh, defender left and a centre back so let's have a look at the DL so tackling wise let's have a look at recommendations so Sam Hayes is available on a free we had him a couple of years ago and he was at Eli and only played 11 games for them so maybe not Let's have a look at tackling wise and see what we got. So we've got someone who's 9 to 15 rated. He's wanted by quite a few clubs. Really the best thing to do is actually find out any of the, if any of them are big clubs that we can try and latch on to. Lua, Lua Common Car, 27 years of age. Hmm. Yeah, we could have a look at this guy here. So, <coughs> just need to find him again. There he is. So, if I add him to. Add his transfer target, free transfer. There we go. He's always added. That's good. So we've got Coleman there. Let's have a look at Defender Centre. So we've got James Scott, 25 years of age. Mm, Blade Mine Hall. And let's have a look at recommendation first. So there's a couple here recommended. So we've got 19 year old Ben Kane. Sean Miller, Stephen O'Hara, Averley, aren't they in the division above? Let's have a look at transfer status. Averley, yeah, they're in the Division 1 North, so they're after him. Okay, so let's 
So, recommendations we looked at. So look at tackling. So, you got Jack Vallis, who is 24 years of age. Played quite a lot in the county divisions. Uh, let's put him as a transfer target. There we go. So he's added. We do need another couple. So, <clears throat> sticking with it, we should go with. I think we'll look at James Scott as well. So we'll declare it as a free. And there we go. So that's two there. Definitely need some AMLs. So Ben Harris has obviously left, as we know. So what we got here? 28 year old. He had quite a good game last year. Only played 15 games, but played quite well. And was a league below. So uh, I suppose we can have a look at Luke. See what he's like. And a transfer target. So there we go. So we've got that one. Might as well look at this one as well. He had a good get, a good season last season. So we'll look at those two. Now I do want to get a decent striker. Wanted by eleven clubs. Oh, Hadley have made their way back into the league. <coughs> so they're mainly county division teams. Let me have a look at this one. So he's played quite a lot in the bigger league, so what we could do is yeah, there we go. So, I think I've put in a couple of bits there, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll carry on from there and <coughs> see how my um, youth defendment does. Okay, he's failed as a target there. So, that's a bit disappointing. However, we'll see if he can turn up anything. What we'll do, I think we'll give it a couple of more minutes and when we may leave it there for the moment because obviously we've got to get through the games so my board of direct my director of football is not doing too good at the moment with the request that I've done We've got Bolton again, who we played last year in a friendly. He's definitely not doing too well for me, is he, this board of director guy? So here we go against Bolton. Another one he can't get hold of for me. So we lose 3-0 this time, so it wasn't too bad. Just really not my board of directors really not doing well. Director of football even. So yeah, we'll apply the advice. So Ackle United in a friendly. And what was that we announced losses? Did it say? Yeah, we lost over a hundred K. Ouch. Hopefully we can start bringing in revenue this year. But I'm not holding out hope. But remember what we said we are last season in this league. If we don't get out, we end the scenario there. So we lose 1 0 there, and we lose Sabi for two to three weeks. So he's made an offer for O'Hare. Plays as a midfield centre. Again, I'm going for his judgment, you know, see how he gets on. There we go, we've made a signing of O'Hare. We'll see how he gets on with us. I 
Mm. Don't seem happy with him. Go back onto the social feed. Yeah, look. Where was that O'Hare? Did I see that O'Hare? They were infuriated. The Great Yarmouth infuriated. Hmm, maybe. I'm just reading things. Okay, so there we go. Let's carry on for the moment. So I think this will be the uh, the last game we'll go over, and we'll see what will happen. So, a friendly game against Mattishall. And that ends in a 1 0 win to us. So, what we'll do, we'll leave it there before we play Reading. We'll be back in a minute, or in the next episode, shall we say, and see how we get on. So, we've got loads of things to look at when we get back, so the adverts and everything like that. So, I want to just say thank you so much for watching. Hope you like the video, hit the subscribe button, and leave me a comment, and we'll see you on the next video.